Hi, it's Mrs. Colliver. I wanted to talk to you today about friendships and what can go wrong in your friendships that with a little bit of care and thoughtfulness you can avoid. It's so nice to have a friend. And when we find that friend that we enjoy being with and we have a fabulous time with, we kind of begin to think that that friend is ours and nobody else's because we just want to be with them all the time. Let's talk about some things that can happen that will cause you to lose that friendship if you're not careful about sharing that friend with other people. If you feel like that friend has to do everything that you want to do, always has to dress the same, always has to want to play the same things, and you find that you are feeling afraid that you will lose them, so much so that you are beginning to pull them away from other people, those are some warning signs that you are about to lose your friend. No one likes to be owned and everyone belongs to themselves. So some of the things that we do that cause our friends to walk away from us or feel uncomfortable with are three things. Let's cover those three things today. The first one is we don't want that friend to play with anyone else. And when we see that they're spending time with other people, we begin to feel jealous. Oh no, what if they don't want to be my friend anymore? And we feel like we have to start saying things like, oh, come and do this with me. Come and be with me. And you want to call them all the time or you want to have spendovers all the time. And you're not allowing them to enjoy other friendships. That's one thing that will begin to cause your friend to feel like they have no freedom, that they're being controlled, and no one likes to feel that. The second thing is, when you feel it's okay for you to play with other people, but you don't want that one friend that you like so much to play with anyone else, when that begins to happen, you're not treating them like a friend anymore. You're treating them like a possession, something that you own. Our friends are not our possessions. Our friends are someone that we spend time with, that we have a good time with, and it's a give and take relationship where we do things that they want to do and that we appreciate and celebrate that they have other interests besides us. The third thing that we do is we get angry and we pout and we say things that aren't nice when our friend wants to spend time with other people. We say things like, I thought we were friends. We might say things like, oh, so you don't like me anymore. Let's talk. Let's talk. But then we don't give them a chance to have their own opinions and their own thoughts. These are things that make our friend feel like they are not a friend. Rather, they are a possession. So remember, Three things that will really bust up a friendship for you are, one, not letting them enjoy other things and other people without us getting angry about it. The second thing is, we don't let them enjoy other people while we ourselves go and enjoy other people. And when we see them enjoying something else, then we want to go and bust that up for them. That's not healthy and it's not okay. The third thing is when our friend has a different idea 
or wants to spend time with other people, which is healthy and normal, and we don't like it, and we begin to say unkind things, and we begin to accuse them. Friendships are blessings, but treating our friends like possessions is not something that will help our friendship grow. Remember those things. Our friends are something that we enjoy, we have give and take, and we can be a part, and they can enjoy their friends, and we can enjoy our friends. If we find that we have no other friends except for that one person, then we need to be making other friends as well to put the pressure on one person to have all of your feelings and everything that you're doing and not allow them to experience different things. That can cause some problems. Remember that.